Welcome to this short guide to publishing data using the data.bris research data repository. We'll show you how to complete a deposit form and how to request publication. To use data.bris, you must have your research data stored in the Research Data Storage Facility, or RDSF. Open up your RDSF folder. Alongside any other folders you've created, you will see a pre-configured folder called data.bris. When you've completed your data preparation checks and created a README file, copy the single folder containing all the data you want to publish into this data.bris folder. This will make it accessible to the repository. Don't worry, it won't become public until you've formally requested publication and repository staff have completed some checks. Now your data is ready, you need to create a record that describes what's in your deposit. Open up your browser and navigate to data-bris.acrc.bris.ac.uk. Log in using your usual single sign-on username and password. You'll need to be on campus and using a wired connection or logged in via VPN or the remote desktop. Click on the RDSF project that contains the data that you want to publish. Now click on Deposit Data for Publication. This will open up the repository license agreement. Check the license agreement carefully and click Accept. You'll need to accept the license agreement in order to publish your data. You'll now be taken to the deposit record. There are a few styled fields which must be completed before you can submit your record. Much of this information is pre-populated from your RDSF project information, but you should check that it's accurate. Once you've finished editing your deposit record, click Save Changes. This will take you back to a list of your deposits where you'll see a message at the top of the screen confirming that your deposit record has been successfully created. The next step is to link the files you copied into the Databris folder to the data record that you've just created. To do this, find your new deposit record and click on Choose Content. This will take you to a list of all the subfolders inside your Databris folder. Select the one that contains the data that you want to publish. Note that your README file should be in the top level of this folder. Once you've found the folder you want to use, click Use Selected Folder. You'll now be taken back to the deposit record and we'll see a content added message at the top of the screen and a depositing message in the blue bar. When the deposit is complete, click Return to Deposits List. Now you've associated your data with your deposit record, the option to publish will become available. Click Request Publish next to the deposit record you've just created. This will send a message to repository staff that your deposit is ready for checking and publication. Before publication, repository staff will go through your deposit to ensure that it meets the data preparation rules outlined in the depositing guide. In particular, we'll check that your README file has all the elements required in the depositing guide, you have a coherent folder structure and file naming system, files and folders match the inventory in the README file, and if applicable to your dataset, the consent form matches the dataset access level. If there are any issues, you'll be emailed and asked to update your dataset using the same process. Otherwise, your record will be published and you'll be emailed a DOI. Your dataset will appear in the Data Site Registry, in the Data.brist Repository Catalog, and also in Explore Bristol Research. You can now delete your files from the Databrist folder in your RDSF project space, as the repository has a copy. If you need further help, please see our website, data.bris.ac.uk or email us at data-bris at bristol.ac.uk Thanks for watching.